offense is just suffocating. And I think that's always fun to watch and always just a really solid play, especially in a game where people may be more timid now. It's kind of a counter to how people are playing as a whole. All right, well, let's get into it. Here it is, guys, the winner semis match. Cosmos and Mistake, both of these guys, man, have just been flying right through the bracket, yet just beating everybody that comes in their path. But now they're going to have to face off against each other, and a lot of people have been saying it. The fact that this Corrin, or Corrin in general, the character that isn't quite, quite too afraid oh, yeah. of Bayonetta. Yeah, no, not at all. And it's going to be, again, look at the, the mid-range, right? It's, there's still a space where Bayonetta may not have that. Oh. Woo! And there you have it, those witch twists right there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bam actually just stared at the screen. Those witch twists, man, you have to be dude, careful, dude. The, that one is always so funny because you have you can't get caught off guard by the triple the triple jump. Exactly. Yep, yeah, yeah, that was what caught him right there, yeah. which got the KO. Yeah, because if you if you're able to recognize that one and do it right, you can usually live at the percent where you're just gonna connect. But Again, man, if you're just, just sitting there, you're like, oh, okay, I weathered the storm, and all of a sudden you just get clipped up there, and then you're gone. Yep, and right there, you saw what Cosmos went for. You know, at the edge, you have to be careful, because if Cosmos is able to actually, like, time those lunges perfectly, he's, he, he could get a timber one, KOing his opponent, so. But right there, Mistake was able to get a witch time, and now put Cosmos in a tough spot yeah. where he just took so much damage. 79 right now. Yeah, no, absolutely. But again, don't let the score necessarily deceive you. Oh, and right there, basically oh, Mistake Never saying, mind, sorry. Yep. <laughs> mistake was just not letting him go for the grabs. You know, one yeah. of the great things that Corrin has when it comes to this matchup against Bayonetta mm -hmm. is the fact that Corrin can have a KO throw on deck once the percentages get high enough. But you saw that witch twist. It comes out quite fast, and it stopped that attempt for the grab. You saw it, right? He yeah. set it up. He landed right near him, caught him with those witch twists, and there you had it. Just carried him off the top. Yeah. And end of game one going in Mistake's favor, repping EMG. Yeah, it just seemed like it just... Uh, again, a uh, rinse and repeat juggle situation. It seemed that uh, Cosmos can never get down the right way. Didn't kind of figure out a way to kind of maneuver around the uh, anti-air wish twist that we're seeing. And now it's just a problem. Yep, there it is, Cosmos right now. Just trying to see if he can start it off with some of his safe pressure in the back here. But mistakes saw it coming. Gosh, okay. 51. Yeah, Quick. man, I am. <laughs> That could have been really scary. We potentially could have saw the end of that stock for Cosmos. Ooh. The way that Mistake was running across the stage. It looked like he was going to either go for like a dash, like up throw, or like even just run up, go for a fair, take the stock at a very high space. Oh, and right there. Great stuff so far by Cosmos. Able to rack up a lot of damage as Mistake is caught on the right side of the stage. But we're going to see what happens as Mistake is able to infiltrate yeah. right here. Yeah. And gets his fair chains going. Okay, good stuff right there. As you just noticed the SDI want him to get out. Yeah, absolutely. One of the main things I'm seeing right now as far as on the uh, neutral level is that Cosmos has allowed Mistake to get in that kind of closer range to, uh, like more often than he should. But one of the main things in this matchup is the fact that you can have all, you have all those disjoints and you can kind of keep Bayonetta at bay. And a character who doesn't really have, you know, the solid dash speed, it allows you to really just kind of just dictate the pace time again. And that's what we're seeing right now. But we need to see a bit more of that from, from Cosmos because Mistake will make you pay every single time that he is, gets in. That is so correct. And here it is, Cosmos trying to see if he can come in at full jump height. But that backer was well timed by Mistake, tying up the stocks. And, okay. Catching these rolls. Okay, I was about oh, to say, no. can we see a triple? But there it is, out of yep. there. Yep, proper SDI. Mistake wasting no time, just switching it up. But yeah. that'll be on stage, actually sending Mistake a little bit out. And again, Cosmos just getting a little bit to attack. Happy oh giving those opportunities for the witch times. And it's scary when you have to deal with that, yep. because then it makes you second guess yourself. Do exactly. I want to actually keep putting out attacks? Should I start going for grabs? Let me get in close. Yep. Deal with witch twists. All right. And I would actually like to see some, some more counters come out of Cosmos oh. as well. We have not really seen that in any of situations. It's oh, crazy. Okay. Oh, Again, man. Just cute. landed on that That was kind of cute, dude. <laughs> I just love that he instantly tried to go for down tilt there. I thought we were going to see, like, some crazy there, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> okay, right there you saw him. Like, trying to see if he could mix it up. Make, make believe he was actually going for back airs. Yeah, there's some insane baits going on for Mistake right now, too. Okay, now we're looking at it's 126 here. Yep, and Cosmos, but Cosmos getting caught right there. When you're airborne and you ha and you get caught by those ABKs, it's going to be a very scary situation. And here you have a mistake converting again, dude. He's just so consistent. His combo game is so solid. No, absolutely. Character. And he's just really safe in a neutral. Even yeah. though there might be times where people see heel slides that they think are not the best heel slides to go for. He actually is just no, out there trying yeah. to. 
Absolutely. either rack up some rage yeah. or he's just trying to get your rolls. So we'll see what happens here. Yeah, and it's something that you have to show that it exists, right? That's really the major kind of... That's essentially her dash attack, you know, for the most part. Yeah, this yeah. Was, yeah this I was, like that. Yeah, so it's something <laughs> that you really need to show that you can, you, you're you willing to break zones here. Um, also, one of the cool things I want to count is that the very ending, that kill that we just saw from Mistake, Mistake went and did a double jump first, right before he did that witch twist. And the reason why is because if you're trying to do upwards SCI there, yep. because he started and which he was higher than the opponent, it drags them up and kind of make sure that if they're just going for upwards SCI, that you still catch them anyways, versus if he did it at the regular height. So just the little things that he does to make these combos still work. There's not the same cookie cutter combos that you're seeing on Full Glory, I'll tell you that much. Yep, and right there, you notice um, DIing in right on the ABK properly, making sure to get back on stage, but Cosmos rolls out of there. Ooh. There's the tipper, he gets that <laughs> yeah. stock. Able to actually get a bit of a lead right here. You know, playing from behind for the first two games is really tough for him. Mm -hmm. But here it is again. I was wondering when we were going to see a witch time. Mistake yeah. so consistent with that. This is why Cosmos, he can't telegraph what he's going for too early. As you notice, that was all the way almost up near the blast zone. You can't oh go for it down there like that. And again, man, we still see this time and time again on players. You have to recognize that witch time will, because it's such a unique move it's like it doesn't really act as in any normal counter so if someone comes down even though they have invincibility you can still get wish time that's it and you will lose it oh yeah it's a very tough situation to deal with but there it is cosmos trying to see if he can get out of these tough situations but mistake one step ahead see yeah you saw that right so yeah. basically cosmos trying to pop, uh, possibly go for a back here but the quick abk that after burner kick you have to watch out for it getting caught on that platform a little bit too high there of wow. escaping that down air too, man. Yeah. That would have been really bad for Cosmos. Yeah, and it just seems that Mistake is running away with this one. Quite possibly. Here it is, 88% currently on Cosmos. Yep, there's, and like I said before, right, you're getting close, trying to go for the grab, and that witch twist avoids the bullets. Oh, tough Ooh, situation. Goodness, yeah. If he let it rip a little bit earlier, that would have been a witch time. Okay, and he's going to bring him out. He's going to try to do it again. Yep. Grabbing the edge. Nope. Okay, which time is gone? All these rolls. But he's going to be back on stage. Maybe this time we get another kill again. A pin can do it here. Which time? ABK. Oh, tough spot. It is holding down the stage. Actually, no which time there. Okay. Gets okay, the kick. Pin. Not going to be enough yet. Tough spot, hanging out near the edge, trying to see what we see here from Mistake. Giving him a lot of respect right here with the space. But here's the fair. And oh! yes, yes, what a reversal, okay. Yes, leaning back in his chair right there, Cosmos getting out of that final hit of the combo, the finisher, and able to actually squeeze in an up air of his own. As we mentioned before, right, DI is just so important, you know, SDI yeah. especially against this character. So good job, Cosmos right now, pondering, making sure that he can stay in the winner's side. No, absolutely, man. I mean, that's what you want to see from this. You don't want to see him just kind of go quietly into the night, man. You got you to stand up. You got to stand up, especially, of course, it's going to be daunting going up against a player such as EMG Stake. But nonetheless, Cosmos is here for a reason, and I want to see that from him right now. Try to see if he could possibly get a follow-up off of that, but still, good damage. And he didn't want to deal with that fair mix-up, if you notice the way how Mistake mixes up how he lands, right? When he goes for those fit, that fair pressure, it's really scary. He yeah, really absolutely. crosses up the opponent and gets that grab. Sometimes mixes it up with other attacks, too. Okay, good. Wow! Oh, oh, oh. What? <laughs> that okay. tries to. And it's so crazy how when you look at that move, it doesn't look so yeah, threatening. It's a lazy up there, dude. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's so strong for no reason. But I think we're going to yeah, have an opportunity here to capitalize on the recovery. Wait a no, second. Not yet. Hold not the phone. Not, not enough. Ooh. Again, again, Cosmos. This fighting spirit, man, he's just keeping it going. Yes, he is. Oh, oh wait a second. Ooh. Mistake. Ooh. Ooh. But actually, oh, Cosmos getting out of that situation. Stopped by the platform there. The downer was not going to drag him down. No, not yet. Okay. These guys are oh, just huge. Catch. Yo. Literally slugging it out on the left side of the stage. These mid-air battles are just way too hyped, too. Yeah, these are nuts. <laughs> oh, no. Not going to catch that. Getting sent to the left side with that back air. Going super deep. Is he going to recover to the other side? Yeah. Actually, tries to go to the left there. Yep. Not going to work. It's kind of like in the middle, too. A little bit tough. Yeah. Okay, 65% right now on Mistake, Cosmos. See what he's gonna go for. Okay, Mistake, showing his hand a little bit, totally with that grab attempt. Yeah. And I like this, look how you're seeing 
Cosmos is kind of itch out more so into the mid range. I love seeing that. But of course, now you're seeing oh, the zone break. Leaves the bank. Yep, leaves himself wide open with that down there. And here it comes. Oh, gets the juggle. Oh, my goodness. 86%. Wait, Wait you're dead. A you're dead. You're Wait dead. Wait a minute. <laughs> Actually let him rip with that upbeat. Oh, he said, you know what, there's wings. a lot of lag here. I'm going to get this punish. Spread your wings. That's right, and fly. Yes. <laughs> and that, his opponent did right there off the top of the blast zone. We are 2-2 two and two here in this set, man. Crazy stuff here between Cosmos and Mistake. What stage are we going to? Oh, man. Are we back at it again? Are we back at it again? Well, both, both of these guys, man, are very proficient at KOing off the top two. Yes, so I'm a little sir. scared. Uh-oh, putting himself up near the edge like that against a great bayonet of like mistake. Yep, very risky. Okay. That's going to be easy damage here. 20%. I like, I like that by mistake to reset where he was, making sure that he just used the dive kick to, yeah. you know, reset. There it is. Also respecting that that down tilt. That was a better down there because it was a down that actually had to get that punish. But here, here it comes. Ooh, some going some on. damage. How's he going to get out of this one? Yep. Forcing him to go for that Ooh. back air because of the SDI being used yep. by Cosmos. Didn't want to deal with the second hit of yeah. the Witch Twist because usually when you deal with that, okay, you that should get cute. hit by the All right. <laughs> I love that delay there by Cosmos. Just because of that, he ended up getting the end of the bats within there and not actually getting a true wish time. Yep. We saw the DI allowing him to avoid the up air after that forward air. Again, like we said, man, avoiding the second hit of the Witch Twist. Or if you get caught by that the up air, man, very scary. But if, if you do that, instead, you just take damage without getting KO'd, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah but again, Stake has been very good at Ooh. catching a lot of these like, cross-ups, man. And expected check that he's been able to stay in close range, get damage. But Dude, check out the knockback on that up air, oh, though. Gosh. <laughs> Okay, great job right there by Mistake, getting the forward throw. Trying to see if he can get this. Whoa, crazy okay. situation here. Whoa, oh, nice. Nice. We didn't see that Ooh. in a minute. Oh, not at all. Cosmos. Oh, he's moving. Okay, only able to get that 6% oh. mistake. Hanging out right here. Trying to see if he can get out of there. Nice jump, gets the back air. And that's all gonna right. be a stock, okay. Hanging only with 23% here. Smart, just waiting for that invincibility to run out. Looking for his opportunity to sneak back in there. Okay. Ooh, nice the punish on the roll. Is. Yes, exactly. Yeah, every Very time smart. Pablo's trying to go cross up. Mistake has been ready, and here he comes. Okay. So many back airs. We're getting closer and closer to 100%. Oh my gosh. Scary situation here, and he gets oh, the foot stall. <laughs> There's the explosion. Great job by Mistake with the finish. Moving on on the winner's side, oh, has solidified man. himself. A spot in the winners' finals. Absolutely, man. That's. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Anytime Vena ends a com like a combo with a footstool there, man, those those products, man. It was clean. You gotta it was love clean. It. It's clean. Absolutely.